it's time for another adventure. I fell in love with Thunder Bay that I am headed back for another visit. Let's head on out. <laughs> I've been driving about 12 hours now, 12 hours almost straight, and I need to get something to eat. I stopped here in Shriver, right by Flames Restaurant. I had burgers here last time and it was really good, so I'm back at it to get the burgers and onion rings. Yum! I finally made it to Silver. Islet, which is the first destination before I get to Porphyry Island. I am just sticking around here waiting because I have to figure out my accommodations for tonight. I don't know if I can walk down there or not, but I'm gonna walk down there anyway. Okay, I don't see this often. A deer crossing the road, just out in the middle of road. That's kind of odd. I've never seen that. Never. Good morning everyone. It's up on the boat. It was so nice. It's all about small space living. Making the most of, of small means. You don't really need much to enjoy life. It's all about the experiences. Anyway, it's uh, early morning and I have to use the washroom. I'll be right back. Leaving Silver Islet now, headed off to the island. For free. It's gonna be about an hour boat ride to get to the island, so sit back and enjoy the ride to the island. So I'm finally here on the island and having a chance to just get settled in for the night. The sun is starting to set. And this is pretty cool that I get to spend the week here on the island pretty much on my own. It's almost like as if I got the island all to myself. This is the house that I get to stay in. Let's go take a look inside. So I think this used to be the light keeper's house. There's a lighthouse back there. This is the living area. This is the kitchen. There's running water here. But then also there's an outhouse. This is the basement area, which I haven't gone down just yet because you guys know how I feel about basements. And we're gonna head on upstairs. It's actually quite a large space. You've got one bedroom here, another bedroom that faces out towards the lighthouse. And then this is the room that I'll be staying in. It's got a view of the lighthouse on this side. And then it's got views of the water on the other side. This is where I'll be staying for the, for the week. I'm so excited. Anyway, let's go and enjoy the sunset as it goes down for the evening. Okay, actually, we aren't going to enjoy the sunset as it goes down for the evening because there's a lot of mosquitoes. So we're just gonna go inside, power down, and relax and enjoy the space because tomorrow is another day to explore the island. Good morning, it's second day on the island and I am going to take a walk down and do a bit of exploring. I had a really good night's sleep last night. It was very cozy and quiet and the silence was so refreshing. Anyway, let's go check out the rest of the island or some of the island at least. So walking through this little forest here, I found a path towards the waterfront. But then also along the way, I found this little burial site. It turns out there's a bit of harsh realities on the island, and obviously death was a part of life here. So 
So walking down that trail leads to this little beach area. What I noticed is that there's all these different types of stone, but they're not stone. They're broken glass that was tossed off from the old lighthouse and they would then wash up on shore. There's different types of colors. It really depends on what was tossed over, but it's so smooth and it's quite beautiful to look at. What I'm also finding out here on the beach is that there's this greenery that's growing on the black sand. I didn't even know things can grow out of sand, but these plants seem to be thriving. So it's like almost like the right type of temperature, right type of climate for them to survive out here. It started to rain, so I'm gonna head back inside for a bit just to stay a bit dry. So it's finally stopped raining and I'm going to explore some more, more so on the other side of the island. Check out what's over there. So I just got back from the water and it was quite exhilarating. The best part for me was that I saw a moose from the distance. That was the first time I ever saw a moose. It's still raining so I'm gonna head back inside and power down for the evening because that was quite a long day for me. I totally freaked myself out last night. I had this weird dream that I heard knocking on a door, but it was so loud and it felt so real that it was right behind me. But it's another day and more exploring to take place today. There's so many different sights and sounds on this island. Specifically the sounds, you hear the water, there's the wind that's blowing through and then you can also hear the wildlife such as the birds. I don't know if you can hear this but listen to that. It's beautiful. They're singing to each other. So there's a gallery here on the island that features some of the local artists but I gotta turn on the lights first. Gotta find the generator. I wonder if I'm doing this right. Give it a try. There we go. Got that started. Let's go check it out. So I'm discovering more and more about this place. It's not just about the beauty and the nature around here, but also the inspiration that this place provides in terms of a creative outlet. And so they have a program called Artist in Residence where people can stay for about two weeks uh, as part of the program to be inspired and to create content, whether it's through paintings or photography, whatever channel that the artists create their pieces. And so here is one of the cabins where they stay and do their artwork and their craft. So seeing all that artwork has inspired me to create something. I did bring some art supplies and I am going to try to create something that is drawing from my inspiration from this place. I'm no artist, but this is what I came up with. It is not perfect, but that's what makes it beautiful. I think I'm happy with it. Looks nice, sort of. Good morning. Before I go and start exploring, I have to get myself ready. So there are a few things that I've had to get accustomed to. There isn't really any plumbing at the house in terms of bathrooms. So I have to go use an outhouse. Be right back. And because there isn't really a shower in the bathtub, I have to wash myself up the old-fashioned way. 
also to charge any of my electronics I have to go from that house the main house to the arts and craft house over here because in this building they have a solar panel that generates electricity for charging any of my electrical things such as my phone my camera it's so beautiful out here that I just want to get away from technology it is fairly windy today and I've got my mic on so hopefully it's like capturing audio I'm gonna check out light tower and See what is up there. Let's go head up. It's so beautiful up here. Fun fact, you guys already know. Oh, it's very gusty. You guys know that I am afraid of heights. Might not be the best idea, but one of the experiences out here on the island. That was such a cool experience, so cool. I want to do it again, but I'm already up here. <laughs> For some reason, this island reminds me so much of Sweden. The hot and cold and wet summers, the long nights, the beautiful nature, which is actually quite perfect because today is midsummer and you guys know me, I never miss midsummer. I'm always celebrating it somewhere, somehow. So let's get ready for midsummer. Here the other day, I was going through some things and I found this. Perfect for the Swedish crown. Let's go pick some flowers. So silly me, got caught in rain. Luckily I've got my raincoat on. The weather here is so interesting. It can be sunny one minute and then very cool the next and then windy. And we've got this rainstorm happening. In a few more minutes, it'll probably clear up. But I tell you, just as I got out of the forest, it's stopped raining and I see blue skies out in this distance. See what I mean about the weather? One minute it's sunny Next minute it's raining and then it's windy and it's cold and then it's sunny again. And as you can see, there's like a rainbow back over there. It just sums up how great this place is. There's no way I'd leave Thunder Bay without grabbing me some Persians. Yum! 